I can get through this. I will get through this. I must get through this. The days you're not plugged in are the days you don't get 120. I have too much to accomplish to be satisfied with where I am right now. I have too much on the line. I have too many people depending on me to win. I must stay hungry. You want to kill an alligator? You kill it right after it eats. Because right after it eats, it gets satisfied. And it goes to a state like it's almost paralyzed. Some of y'all in this room, are you paralyzed? You had a little success? You've done what nobody else in your family has done and now you chilling? Come on, you ain't hungry no more? Next hunting, I need you to stay focused. Why? You should still be hungry. What have you eaten that's got you satisfied? What have you done? What have you accomplished that got you so full? I'm a contender, but the next hundred gonna change my life. You're gonna change this world. We're ordinary people doing extraordinary things. If that's you and you feeling me, just say, I can. Yeah. Come on, come on, I can. I can. I can. Come on, one time. I can. Yep, I will. I will. Yep, I must. I must. All right, all right. You study any animal in the animal kingdom, and I will tell you this, that the lion is king because the lion is hungry. The elephant is bigger than the lion, but the sheet is faster than the lion. But nobody is more hungry than the lion. Go ask any athlete, actor, musician, philanthropist, it doesn't matter. You ask anybody who is a champion, and the difference between them and their opponent is they were more hungry for it. If there's anything I can pour from my heart in this moment, my greatest piece of advice is to protect your hunger. All right, come on, come on, I want to put some context into it. I want to put some context. They sent my mother-in-law home eight years ago. Uh, the cancer metastasized throughout our whole body. They're like, it ain't nothing we can do for you. Go home, spend time with your family. And people was like, yep, that's it for her. She said, it's not it for me. And they said, what do you mean it's not over for you? The doctor said, she said, I don't care nothing about a doctor. I got to see my grandson graduate from high school. He's a junior now at Michigan State University. She said, I got to see my granddaughter graduate. And my only two grandkids. I got to see my granddaughter graduate from high school. And she graduates in June. She said, after that, I might die. But up until then, I ain't going nowhere. Are you hearing what I'm telling you? And what we said to each other is, I can get through this. I will get through this. I must get through this. So, so I just need you to think about three people in your family that you love, three people. Three people that you love, three people. You got them, they there, you got them. This is what I need you to do for me. Cause some of you have a hard time staying motivated for a straight hundred days. So what I need you to do for me is I need you to think about those people every day when you're doing what you're doing. Do you have some days where you just wanna hit the snooze button? Raise your hand for me, you wanna hit the snooze button, right? So watch this, this is what has to happen. That person that you think about has to be louder than the snooze button. So when you think about granny, you gotta think about, do I hit the snooze button or do I get up and make it happen for granny? Are you hearing what I'm saying? Who are you doing this for? So the days you don't feel like getting up, just think about them. Somebody tell me in this room, when you think about your siblings, when you think about mom and dad and grandma, when you think about your uncle and aunts, when you think about those coaches, those people who've been there for you, just raise your hand if you say, ET, sleep is better than that. Just raise your hand and tell me, anybody in the room, sleep is better than them, E? Raise your hand, somebody tell me, E.T., you don't, you don't get it, you don't know how hard it is, E. I probably don't. I just lived in abandoned buildings, AI hey, trash cans, I probably don't. Maybe I ain't never been through what you've been through, but I've been through my go-through. And you don't, you, don't, you don't get here by quitting when you're tired, you get here by quitting when you finish, when you're done. You don't stop when you're tired, you stop when you're done. You stop when you complete it, when you execute it. Execution is worship. And so I execute for my mom. I execute for my grandma. I execute for my sister. I execute for those kids in the hood who looking for a role model. That's why I wear the hat with a PhD. That's why I wear the J's. So when the kids in the hood look at me, they say, if ET can do it, I can do it. That's why I can't quit and give up, even though I get tired just like everybody else. Why? Because this is what I do. This is my lane. This is your lane. You got to murder it. So when I ask you, you got energy, don't play with me. When I tell, when I say again, you got that energy for the next hundred days, I need to feel your soul in this room. All right, I can? Come on, I can? Come on, I can? I will. I must. Come on, I can? I will. I must. Give yourself some energy. 
I don't care if you gotta listen to me a thousand times, I need you to get crystal clear about your future. Because the only reason why you are here, the only reason why you're alive, is because you have work to do. And you gotta figure out why on earth are you here? What is your destiny? What is the dream that God has given you? You gotta have like a shark mentality because if a shark swims backward, it dies. A shark can only move forward. And so I need you every single day you wake up to smell blood and go after that dream. When you are hungry, you are creative. When you are hungry, you are innovative. When you are hungry, when you are no longer full, when you are no longer satisfied with where you are and you raise your standards, it is only then that you can have your future. If you can stay hungry, you can get the resources. If you can stay hungry, you can get the strategy. If you can stay hungry, the ideas gonna come. If you can stay hungry, the connections will be aligned. If you can stay hungry. The problem with many of you is that you got fooled. You got complacent. You got lazy. Somewhere along the line, you lost your enthusiasm, your optimism. You lost your hunger. I'm never fooled. I'm never full. I'm never full. I'm never full. You gotta get hungry, 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 hungry! Eliminate all distractions. Eliminate all distractions. So you gotta have a goal. You gotta have a dream. You gotta get hungry. And then you gotta get real disciplined. Because motivation will get you going. A speech will get you fired up. But discipline is going to give you the power to stay committed to whatever that goal is. I'm going to tell you this right now. Some praise can be poison. It keeps you locked in a state of paralysis. And you shine in trophies from the past. And that's why you always hear those people from the past like, yeah, remember back in the day when I used to do this. Remember back in the day. They're still shining the trophy of the past accomplishments. So sometimes we can, we can receive praise like a venomous snake that injects its poisonous venom in our veins and in our heart and we get full. We get real full. You gotta be hungry for your dream. You gotta be hungry for your next level. You gotta be hungry for connection and alignment. You have to be hungry to fulfill your destiny. Hunger is not an idea. Hunger is not a mood. Hunger is a lifestyle. I'm never full. This is me every day, all day. I'm hungry to learn. You gotta be hungry to read. You have to be hungry to grow. You have to be hungry to manifest what is in your head. Just say, I can. Come on, come on, I can. I can. I can. Come on, one time. I can. Yep, I will. I will. Yep, I must. I must.